I decided to return to my comfort zone with window shopping. Wait, am I not filming? I'm confused. Okay, let's take it from the top. And by top, I mean the top of my video, not the top of my vocal range. <clears throat> Hi, welcome back to Window Shopping. My name is Nisi Pisa, and this is the series where I go on websites, look at clothes, and make fun of them like I could do any better. This shirt's from H&M, case in point. We're back on Fashion Nova today. Why are we back on Fashion Nova? For the very simple reason of I was cleaning out my computer and I found a Word document from July halfway full of notes for a window shopping video that I never ended up filming because I started having a bunch of tech difficulties in the middle of the summer. So now I've returned to give that video the life that it deserves and also, Fashion Nova has a Halloween section, and it's October, folks. It's October 9th, so if you haven't thought of a Halloween costume by now, get those brain gears turning. Let's get started with some ham. <laughs> These are the Nicola High Rise Lace Up Skinny Jeans in black. These aren't high rise lace up skinny jeans. These are ham jeans for the weirdest possible tan lines. <laughs> or... You know, or possible alternative, if you got really weird Botox and only your thighs sweat, every other part of your body has been needled and pointed and pricked and your sweat glands are as dormant as most of the volcanoes in the world for now, except the front of your thighs. Your thighs cannot be covered with clothes or they will be profusely sweating, just causing an absolute biohazard everywhere you go. And if that's true for you, you should probably sue whoever administered that Botox for malpractice, but also you should buy these jeans for 50 American dollars. When I originally wrote the note for these jeans, I mentioned that I appreciate that Fashion Nova keeps an absolutely stacked supply of skin tight jeans despite it being the middle of summer. But now that it's the middle of October, I feel the need to edit that note a little bit and say that I appreciate that Fashion Nova has an absolutely stacked supply of absurd cutout jeans that expose at least 45% of your leg, even though we are marching headlong into winter. Great job, Fashion Nova. Never change, except please do in every way, shape, or form. Cool, 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 cool. Recording? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Selena sequin dress in black. It's $70 and sold out in all sizes except for 1X. You know what? I actually think this is cute if you're going to do like a sexy Venom couples costume. Who, what's the, what's Tom Hardy in Venom's name? Eddie Brock, I want to say, or is that? Yeah, yeah. So if you and your partner or a friend of yours want to do like a cute little couples costume, like if you want to give this for Halloween, buy this dress if you're a 1X exclusively, and you know, do some funsy onesie makeup, maybe get some sharp teeth, and then just have your partner wear like a regular outfit or perhaps a bathrobe. And that's a very easy couple's costume. The more that I look at this dress, the more that I like it. It's like ooky spooky in a fun way. It's not even a Halloween dress. It's been there since the summer when I originally wrote this note down. This is fun. Wait a second. Okay, Miss Nova. Were you guys aware that Fashion Nova is categorically the world's sexiest Halloween destination? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I'm not one of those people that's anti-sexy Halloween costumes. I want to get that out of the way early in the video. My own Halloween costume is a sexy Halloween costume. So don't think that I hate these just because they are sexy. I hate a lot of these because they're unimaginative. Enchanted Rose Princess three-piece costume set. So this is a Halloween costume based on Beauty and the Beast on, off of Belle's dress. And to illustrate that point, we have Miss Girl lying on what appears to be a wooden dock somewhere covered with leaves with a dog. <laughs> you know, I'm not obsessed with the implications of this photo, but that dog is very cute. I've always thought the idea of just buying a random Halloween costume just to have a costume for Halloween is a bit weird and kind of takes the fun out of Halloween. Like, yeah, you could just go on a website like Fashion Nova and buy the sexy stealth ninja five-piece costume in black red for $70, or, you know, the sexy mime five-piece costume for $55.99. But isn't it more fun to actually think of something that you want to dress up as? I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that looking at this costume because who on earth would not want to dress like this for Halloween? <laughs> I really, I don't want to disgrace 
um, the great French performers who have historically donned the moniker of mime. But like, does anybody actually want to be a mime for Halloween? No topical costume. I don't want to dress up as anybody from Squid Game. I don't want to do Harley Quinn for the third year in a row. I don't want to be Lola Bunny. I want to be a mime, but not just a mime. I want to be a mime that sexually arouses everybody I walk past in these Mickey Mouse ass hot pants. Good God. Oh, you don't get the tights. You have to supply your own fishnet tights. Are you kidding me, Fashion Nova? I'm paying you $56, which is such a specific price, and you can't even spare me a pair of fishnets to cover my legs to give me a modicum of warmth on the cold October night, really? But what do you get? You get the halter crop top, the high-waisted panty. I love that they call it a panty. I know it is, but I love that they're not even trying to act like this is clothes. It's like, no, it's panties. Girly, this is underwear. If you try to wear this in certain establishments, there's a non-zero percent chance that you will get kicked out or arrested for indecent exposure. Your cheeks are to the wind. And don't get me wrong, I love cheeks. I love cheeks. We all love cheeks. Most of us love cheeks. But like, I, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Oh my God. You get the suspenders, you get gloves, which you need, obviously. You get the beret because otherwise people aren't going to know that you're French, of course. And you cannot return this, um, which is good. I That's wedged pretty high up in there, probably to the point of no return. So yeah. Let's switch back to a non-Halloween item. This is the too good for you high-low top in cognac. This top is like that scene in a high fantasy movie where the princess heroine girl character has to tear the bottom of her gown away so she can fight the dragon, except instead of it being a ball, it's an overcrowded brunch place in Silver Lake. And instead of it being a princess, it's an aspiring model whose last Instagram post was a sponsored ad for a teeth whitening kit and who spent the entire morning trying to convince her boyfriend to do a TikTok dance with her, but he was too busy running a crypto scam. I love the fantasy of this. This is the mom mode top in the shade pink. This is a crew neck t-shirt that says mom mode on it in like those little collegiate letters. You know what? Hey, I actually think it's cute to imagine someone giving this shirt to their mom for Mother's Day or to think of a young mom to be buying this for herself. But it makes me laugh to think about someone taking this shirt really literally. You only parent your children whilst wearing the mom mode shirt. Mom, can I have a ride to Haley's house? Arden, look at my torso. Am I wearing the shirt right now? Mom, please. Listen, if you want to take the shirt out of my hamper and do a load of laundry so I can wear it again, be my guest. But until I feel that cotton crunic on my skin, we are roommates at best. And stop calling me mom. Sorry, Elizabeth. <laughs> You cannot ask your mom for anything unless she is sporting the mom mode shirt. You ask her for goldfish crackers. If she's not wearing the shirt, those are her goldfish crackers. Now finish your homework. Here we have the too many shots short sleeve top in Heather Gray, which says one tequila, two tequila, three tequila, four tequila, floor, if you can't read it. <laughs> binge drinking of all the things i personally want to advertise about myself with a t-shirt my binge drinking is definitely top of the list inherent cringiness aside i resent the fact that they messed up the rhyme it should be one tequila two tequila three tequila floor floor following four tequilas doesn't make any sense and it's off rhythm. I'm sorry, if you own this shirt, I'm not trying to shade you or say that you like are bad at managing your money, but like I can think of approximately 86 things that are a better use for $16 than this dumbass shirt. I could make an entire video, I won't, but I could. That's literally just a still image of this t-shirt and a complete completely deadpan monotone voiceover of me just listing things that cost $16 that you should buy instead of this shirt. And that list would probably contain other shirts that have sayings on them that are just slightly less stupid than this one. It is so wild to me that there are still sexy Betty from the Flintstones Halloween costumes. 
Like, I haven't thought about the Flintstones since the year 2002, maybe. And I'm 27. And I feel like that might be on the higher end of the age range of people who shop, especially for Halloween costumes on Fashion Nova. Who that is shopping for a Halloween costume on Fashion Nova even knows what the Flintstones was or is. If you need an excuse to wear a strapless latex mini dress for Halloween, there are approximately 1,500 other costumes you can wear. This is like so random. I can't imagine the person who is like, yes, yes, finally, the sexy Betty Rubble costume for Halloween 2021 that is so topical. I get that it's more screen accurate, but the plus size model was the one who wasn't allowed to wear shoes outside. I almost zoomed in on her feet, but I realized that would, the optics of that would be really strange. Anyway. Really? We couldn't give her a cute pair of white pumps to wear? She's the one who's outside. I know we're doing a whole, she's outside up against rocks. It's like prehistoric times. Also, this is like the same price as the mime costume and it comes with way fewer things. And I don't think that's fair. With that one, you got the panties and you got the suspenders, you got the gloves, the beret, the crop top. This, you just get the dress bow and necklace. Oh, this comes with a wig. Okay, never mind. They're they're taking care of us. I'm sorry, Fashion Nova. I didn't realize I got this absolutely gorgeous human hair, I presume, 150% density. Bleach knots, most likely. I'm just naming things I know that wigs have. I don't actually know if that would, I don't even know what bleach knots are. Anyway, you are not serious. You are not serious. Is this a Dexter's Laboratory Halloween costume? A sexy Dexter from Dexter's Lab? I'm not, no, cause purple gloves, orange hair, white lab coat, black boots, right? You are not serious. That's my little man. Are you? <laughs> no way! You cannot do that. Fashion Nova, that is a child cartoon character. That is a child aged cartoon character on a cartoon for children. Also $65. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. This is a six piece set. They suggest pairing it with black pumps for the perfect look. It's a latex sleeveless top. I gotta get through it without laughing. Panty included, thank you. Wig included, gloves included. You get the glasses too. Leg accessories included. And don't you dare try to return this final sale. DD, DD, what are you doing in my laboratory? <laughs> Can you just imagine sporting this look, walking up to the hottest person at the Halloween party? getting real up close to them and saying, omelette du fromage. I, ah! you can't do this. <laughs> oh, it's marked down. It was $94.99. Girl, if you, pay, if you paid $100 for this, you have to go on a watch list. I don't make the rules. I just suggest them. This Oh my God. <laughs> what? What? This is the, ooh, the claw. Four piece. Who the, f who on earth? Who on this beautiful boiling earth is trying to dress up as the aliens from Toy Story. But who is this for? Why did they make her pose with the booty pose? Why did you make her hold it up like that? <laughs> with black pumps? Really? Are their shoes black? No, they're dark blue. They go with the costume. Come on, we're not even gonna do that part right? How come she doesn't have to hold up her butt? How come just the outside girl had to? Oh, there's a video, oh my God. I think I follow this model on Instagram. You know she was mad. She was like, this is really? I had to wear the Pizza Planet alien one? The Pizza Planet logo is a pizza with pepperoni, mushrooms, and green peppers with a blue background and a ring. This? is the wrong logo. You could, well, I guess it's probably a copyright thing. 
Like, you know Disney would not let this fly if they had the actual correct logo, but that's not even kind of right. Come on. This was $80? This was... This was 80, sorry, this was, this was $80. I've had, I've had to buy textbooks for class that were less expensive than this. What on earth? Okay, the headband. I haven't even talked about the helmet. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this one's actually kind of cute. This is the Angel Energy four piece costume, which is a metallic lingerie inspired angel costume with these actually kind of cool wings that are included. This one, I feel like if there's any of these absurd sexy costumes that's like kind of worth how expensive it is, this one would be it because these wings are cute. I'm certain these are going to get caught in each and every single doorway you try to walk through for the entire night, but you'll look very pretty doing it. Like this is cute. I like it. I like that it's metallic. I think it's really nice. You could do kind of really interesting sparkly silver makeup with this. I like this one. Good job on this one, Fashion Nova. Oh, it comes in gold as well. Aw. The gold is a little Christmassy, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's, it's very Christmassy. I don't like it in gold at all, actually. Silver though. I would get a different halo because this little like tinsel halo, like girl, is this a middle school play? From the, you know, neck up, obviously. <laughs> there is not one detail about this that says middle school to me other than that halo. But the halo says it very loudly. This is the skirt, skirt, belt. Oh, the skirt, skirt, belt in black. All right, all right, all right. They got me. I ain't gonna hold you. This is sick. I appreciate Fashion Nova stocking apparel for young, aspiring Batman villains. I ask this question in a lot of these window shopping videos, but in this specific event, I feel like asking the question, where would you even wear this, is a boring, myopic question. Especially regarding Fashion Nova, where I know the answer is to take Instagram photos in and perhaps film a very stationary TikTok. But seriously, where? <laughs> Would it even make sense to go with a three and a half foot long plastic cape hanging from your waist? I would love to see a compilation of misguided women wearing these in public at like restaurants or bars and turning around a little too fast and knocking everyone's glasses off of their tables. Shit, if you spin fast enough in this thing, you might be able to behead someone sitting near you. Which, I guess, goes back to the supervillain thing. I would watch the shit out of a supervillainess whose signature move is twirling and having her skirt slice someone's neck open. Actually, I would play that supervillainess. Does anyone know if the writers for that Harley Quinn cartoon show on HBO Max are looking for suggestions? Never mind, you know what? I'm just, I'll just DM Kaylee Cuoco. We'll figure it out together. This is cute. I like it. I would never buy this. Uh, uh, it, Unless, of course, in the event that I do get cast as a villain character in some media where I wear this and I spin and I chop someone's head off. So obviously, like, obviously, in the event that that happens, I would wear this belt. Um, obviously, I would have no problems with it. Just cast me as that villain and we will work it out. This is not a Halloween item, but it is goofy, so let's talk about it. This is the Especially For You tool skirt set in the shade Blush. The wrinkle across the top of this is making my eyes twitch, and I can't stop thinking about how dirty the bottom of this skirt would get if you tried to wear it literally anywhere. You can't really tell in the pink colorway, but the skirt is pretty gauzy and see-through in the weird beach cover-up figure skating gray area that just seems kind of impractical. Like, bestie, that is translucent. But I can't lie, I love ultra feminine flouncy shit like this. You know what though? This would be a perfect Galinda fit for a modern day reboot of Wicked or The Wizard of Oz, or maybe a Halloween costume. Oh God, nobody let Lin-Manuel Miranda in the same room as whoever put out the Gen Z Gossip Girl reboot because there's no way that combination wouldn't result in that reboot getting made. I at least better get a producing credit if it happens. Lin Mamo Miranda, I, I know you watch my videos. Listen, listen to me and listen to me, good. If you end up making a reimagining reboot, 
modern day of Wicked or the Wizard of Oz and the characters wearing this fit. No, if that even happens at all and I don't get a phone call about it and you don't cut me a check, it's curtains for you. I'm coming to your house and I'm serving you a platter full of knuckle sandwiches and ass that. Don't ask me nothing else about it. Oh my God, we did it. In all of my window shopping videos, there is a new contender for the ugliest piece of clothing I have seen while making these. And I think we found ours for this episode. This is the Boss Girl Attitude Corset Top in the shade Blush. It's $40. And this is one of the items that I originally tagged as including in this video all the way back in July. And the fact that it's still in stock in all sizes, I think speaks volumes. Come on, one review, period. This is the perfect top for the person who can't choose between a square neck and a halter top, but knows they want to look like an old west saloon girl in the process of getting strangled to death by a python made of polyester satin. And I love that. Can't move arms. Oh, sweetheart, Mandy? Mandy, Texas realtor? Did you wear this to show people houses in Texas, Mandy? You know what? If I was looking for a house in Texas and my realtor showed up, in this in this exact fit i'd be like you know what yeah i trust you <laughs> i trust you you put your faith in this shirt and i feel like as a result of that i owe i owe it to you to put my faith in your ability to find me a forever home you are sick and you're married girl come on phoebe this is the sexy phoebe bridgers costume in black girl come on with this spacing on the plus size one they're like we're gonna make this pelvis the same size regardless and you wide hip bitches can cope or cry we did it folks i cannot believe how long it took me to find a sexy schoolgirl costume on fashion nova I'm only on the second page of results, but knowing Fashion Nova, I kind of assumed this would be like the very first one they showed you. These have always been the weirdest costumes to me. Girl, come on. This is, this is weird. Why are we still making these? This is so creepy if you think about it for longer than two seconds. And I don't like how red fishnets look with anything but that's just a personal preference, whereas objectively sexy schoolgirl costumes are really weird and creepy and we shouldn't make them anymore. And of course they gave her pigtails. Oh, this is a bedroom costume. Oh, it's a bed, you guys, I'm sorry. It's a bedroom costume. It's not a regular Halloween costume. This isn't a costume to wear outside, out and about on Halloween night. This is a costume to wear inside to have sex in. Never mind. I take it all back. It's fine now. <clears throat> and to that I say, <laughs> Oh, hold on. I thought of something more astute to say. <clears throat> <clears throat> I love the spacing on this. Tie front crop top. Collared. Mini skirt. Pleated. Who wrote this product detail section? The Beastie Boys? What? Dude, I don't want to look at this anymore. It just makes me sad. <laughs> That's just weird. Listen, I'm aware of the societal good that the United States Postal Service is, but I've never looked at mail carrier uniforms and thought, oh my god, that is so hot and also so festive. I need to make that a sexy Halloween costume. This isn't the most absurd occupation I've seen be made into a sexy Halloween costume, but it is one of the more random ones. I will say this, if you want a sexy Halloween costume that you'll not be freezing your ass off in, this is probably, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my god infinite and beyond that doesn't even make sense <laughs> the squad who like i really want to meet the trio of friends who is like we want to do a group costume because we're all besties which totally fine with i'm doing a friend costume with my roommate best friend what's a good trio for us to be three iconic characters when you think of one character you think of the other character when you think of those two characters you think of the third character when you think of any one of these characters you think of them together i got it ladies buzz lightyear yeah woody yeah 
and one of the random claw machine pizza planet aliens. And while you're still planning out this costume, you turn to the girl who's gonna dress as Woody and you're like, hey, Cassandra. And she's like, yeah. And you're like, make sure with your costume, you wear your knee high suede block heel boots from 2017 or else no one's gonna know who you are. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. <gasps> Mama and baby. Oh my god, what a development. <laughs> <laughs> this is the chain gang cut out mini dress in the shade purple. Oh my God. For a big part of the population, this is an only when intergalactic space travel becomes the norm because I can only wear this in zero gravity dress. Alternatively, I could probably wear this if Gorilla Glue ever makes a skin safe version. Um, then I'm all for it. Are you guys ready for a chemistry lesson? Few people know this, but Fashion Nova is actually a front for a top secret international biochemical engineering firm. That's why the customer service is so bad. Engineers are famously poor communicators, and they've just discovered two new elements. Hustle and savage. While little is known about the element savage, because I can't find a separate listing for the top alone, Hustle, denoted by the symbol HU or HUH, has an atomic weight of 247,365 atomic mass units and belongs to the chemical group Block Squad, where it is currently the only member. Hustle is a man made element created as a result of perpetual heavy friction. In layman's terms, hustle happens because the grind never stops. I said, hustle happens because the grind. I remember being really proud of that joke when I wrote it in July. And I still am. Good job, Nisa. Thanks, other Nisa. You're always there for me. Let's continue. This is just an absolutely astounding combination. This is the 420 Blazed Herbal Nurse three-piece costume set. Um, th so what I'm getting from this is that this is, this is a weed nurse costume. I, I, I'm, I'm having trouble kind of like conceptualizing the origin of this costume. Like, what are we doing here? I understand the point of a sexy nurse costume, like, hello, nurse, et cetera, et cetera. Sure. But like weed nurse isn't a job. So is this like a dispensary employee costume? Like a sexy dispensary employee costume? Is this a nurse who heals patients by administering weed? Or is this a nurse who smokes a lot of weed? Or both? That, you know, both are fine. I just, I'm, I'm not getting the conceit of the story that we're telling with this costume. Weed leaf nurse costume, style with a clipboard and white thigh high boots for the perfect look. And they suggest a pair of pumps that you should wear with this, which I'm pretty sure are not thigh high boots. I think those are just like pump heels. Hat included, gloves included. Well, thank God for that. I don't know what I was gonna do if I had to sub in my own gloves. Yeah, the high priority pumps are just pumps. They're not boots. I'm sure Fasanova sells white thigh high boots. So why would they recommend those? Anyway, I'm reading too far into that, but like very confused about that. Very also confused about who wants to spend $41 or originally $60 to be something as vaguely defined as a weed nurse. Also, I didn't mention this on my first go through because I assumed I would run into it, but Fashion Nova is selling a Daphne from Scooby-Doo costume called Detective Damsel, but no Velma costume. You know, for all the lesbian couples who want a cute Halloween couples costume idea. Why just Daphne? Are you trying to imply that no one else in the Scooby gang wears a sexy outfit? because I have some very, very convincing thoughts about the pants that Shaggy wears. They're so baggy and so brown. They're full of secrets, sexy ones. 
<laughs> Costume is very short. <laughs> All my butt is out. Oh, no. We didn't have maybe an idea that this was going to be a short dress. We didn't have any context clues at all about perhaps the length of this garment not being ideal for wearing anywhere under any circumstances. I think the costume that we'll end on for this video is this one, which really is, I think, the ideal combination of absurdly sexy costume and absurdly random thing costume is based on. This is the Putt Putt Babe three-piece costume set. No one has reviewed this costume. And you could say that that doesn't necessarily mean no one's bought it, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that no one's bought this costume because, huh? Who is this for? I wanna meet the person who loves golf so much or is maybe in a relationship with someone who loves golf so much that this is the Halloween costume of all the hundreds of thousands of things you could dress as for Halloween that they decide to go as. This is incomprehensible to me. My grandfather loved golf. He passed away recently. And I really wanted to pay homage to him with my Halloween costume, but I also cannot leave my house without looking sexy. Oh my God, I almost wanna buy this and have it be my Halloween costume just because I'm so enthused by it. And I'm really bad at golf. Putt putt, sure is girl. It sure is. Well, I think we're gonna wrap it up there for this video. I hope that I have time to do more Halloween costume videos. There's still a solid chunk of October left over, so I think I might be able to squeeze it in. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm sorry that I left for so long, and I'm probably gonna do it again. Thank you so much for watching this video, but before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be very, very spooky, scary, terrifying, horrifying, boo. And if you would like to interact with me betwixt uploads, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. Every single day I get comments on my TikTok of people saying, oh my God, you have a TikTok? Sounds like somebody's not watching my videos to their very end. Hmm. In my neck of the woods, we call that fake fan behavior, but sue yourself. I guess they wouldn't see this part anyway, so. <laughs> Don't forget to use code NISIPISA for 10% off at checkout at your local golf-themed lingerie store. Boo. This is my Halloween costume. It's just any outfit I would wear normally, but I add a headband. Now I am Blair Waldorf. <laughs>